Well, we're having our coffee here at Dolly Cop Campground in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. It's early morning. Beautiful campground, very, uh, very much like a park. It feels more like a park than just a campground. And um, today we're heading up to Grafton Notch State Park. We're going to cross the border into Maine. And we're going to check out another notch. We've been to um, Crawford Notch. Pinkney Notch, and now Grafton Notch. All these basic, basically paths through the mountains. Our first trip to the White Mountains, and it's uh, really beautiful. Um, I have thoughts of going up Mount Washington one day. We'll see. But today we're gonna enjoy the day, head into Maine. We're spending a good part of this trip in Maine. First Grafton Notch and then Acadia National Park. And we're just walking down a little road here inside um, Grafton Notch. I'm sorry, inside Dolly Cop. And like I said, very park like here. And right here, this is the Hayes Field Loop of the campground, which I find particularly beautiful. Next time I'd like to have a site in the trees on the left there. We're in the loop uh, just next to this one. And here stood the home of Hayes and Dolly Cop. They call them pioneers of the Glen in this area. Um, there are actually several other families that were in this area with them. Um, but you, they were pioneers, not too many folks out here. But um, at that time, they uh, were born in the early 1800s. They were married in 1831. And... Um, they had four children. They had a farm here that seemed to do pretty well. But after 50 years of marriage in 1884, I believe, around that time, uh, they separated. And according to this quote, Dolly said, Hayes is well enough, but 50 years is long enough for a woman to live with any man. And thus they went their separate ways. It's kind of interesting. And they spent their last days uh, living with their relatives, uh, dependent on them actually, as they did not have a lot of income at that point. And this area right here is the site of the home. There are markers at each corner where you see these little bushes of the perimeter of the house. And the um, granite blocks over there on the right that's where they had their cellar. So this is the site of the Dolly Cop and Hayes Cop home. Real people in a real place in a real time. So we just came over the border of Maine. Beautiful day. We've arrived at Grafton Notch Campground on Route 26, heading into northern, northwestern Maine, and we're just outside Grafton Notch State Park, which we'll be heading into today at some point. Um, 
the woman Mo, uh, the owner of the campground, really wonderful lady, and uh, had a nice conversation with her, and we bought some ice cream, and uh, has a really wonderful dog, Rusty, which maybe we'll get a picture of Rusty in a little bit. But uh, we're happy to have arrived here. It's a very beautiful, pleasant day, and so they've had a lot of rain all summer, and this is so wonderful that the sun is out the entire week. So pretty soon we're heading to our campsite, and then we'll head into the state park. And that's our campsite here at Grafton Notch Campground, about a mile or so from the entrance to the park. And um, that's site number nine, and we just walked down that little path. Next to our site is the Bear River, which is pretty small, it's more like the creek or a stream, but the owner was telling us it really gets nasty flooding in this area sometimes you can see some of the debris from the flooding and sometimes some of the campgrounds have been flooded and campers had to evacuate see? yeah right here mm -hmm. looks like somebody That's might be living in there and this here is what she calls rock island Highly recommend this campground in good weather. <laughs> Only here one night. We're gonna spend a day or two in Grafton Notch State Park. We'll be heading over there very shortly. And our first hike of the day will be a hike to Step Falls. Uh, the entrance to this trail is maybe a mile north of our campsite and so we are parked right here and we're going to walk up this trail which they say is about a half a mile to the bottom of the falls and then I think there's a series of rock steps that bring you to the top. So maybe we're talking about a one mile or so out and back along White Brook this way to Step Falls. We'll follow the yellow blaze. And here are the Step Falls. Just a beautiful series of cascades and pools. And we have a glorious day out here. Another wonderful playground, a natural playground. Well, here I am doing my Tom Sawyer imitation. Water's ice cold, a little slippery in spots, just gotta watch it. Let's head up here. Mm, it's a little steep with one hand. All right, we're going to have to negotiate a path here. Well, we managed to get up a little higher. 
little closer. This algae is a little slippery here, but we'll stay off of that. This is beautiful. I had my shorts on and water shoes would be in that, that pool right there. So we have our feet in. That's, it really cools off wonderfully. Step Falls, Maine. Take another look this way. Wonderful pool. And into the bright sunlight. Well, this looks like about as deep as I'm going to get in here. That water is icy, but good. What a day. I think we're going to put this camera under the water here and see what we get. Okay, so we're going to go under the water at um, Step Falls, one of the pools here. Let's go underwater and see what we find. Here we go. We got something worthwhile. We'll see this later. Let's head back and connect with Kathy now. Well, I'm not sure if I fully agree with this message. Be happy. Don't work. But I get the intent. And there you have it. So what do you think of uh, Step Falls? It's beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. And the weather is magnificent. Sunshine. Yeah. 50 degrees, right? It is. I think it's more than 50 now. Oh yeah, it's probably close to 70. So we're on our way back now and have a little bit of lunch and then go into the park itself. We're just outside Grafton Notch State Park. We've arrived at Grafton Notch State Park. Our first stop is going to be Screw Auger Falls, which is right here. And then we, we're going to go to the picnic area, then the waterfall, then we're going to head up 26 to Mother Walker Falls, Moose Cave Turnout. Maybe tomorrow we'll hike up to here, the Table Rock. But today we're planning to end over here at Spruce Meadow Turnout picnic area for dinner. And we heard it's a wonderful place for the sunset. This is the Appalachian Trail right over here going through the park. And then Ariel at Grafton Notch. Well, we are at the first stop as we're heading north into Grafton Notch State Park. This is Screw Auger Falls area. This is not the falls in front of us. This is the picnic grounds. 
which is another terrific place for anyone, but the children especially. This picnic area, there's a field here with picnic tables in the woods there. Plenty of room for the kids to run around. There are sheltered picnic tables here. And many more beautiful picnic spots right down this trail. So we're going to head over to the falls now, but again, a great place for kids. And this is a beautiful testament from a son to his mother on one of the memorial benches here of all the wonderful times he had at this place. This is the view from above Screw Auger Falls. This is the preparation to it. Uh, block the sign, there we go. Sign, there we go. This area, like so many, was carved out by a glacier which left this area and receded about 12,000 years ago. So we are literally right above the waterfall, but in a safe spot. And right here is where the water tumbles down the screw auger. So I imagine it kind of spirals a little bit. Go check it out from the bottom. Well, this looks like the end of the gorge. And the end of the falls, right through that black hole in the middle. Our second stop at Grafton Notch State Park. Well, this sign seems to mark the falls and the ending point of this trail. From this point, there's a gorge down there, but can't see much of anything. But there is a waterfall, and that's Mother Walker. We're going to see if there's any better views, but I think this is it. So let's move on. Apparently part of this waterfall in the gorge runs under these rocks in that black cave there which with the blackness and the cave and the sound to me is a little scary in there. Now on to our final stop, Moose Cave. Beginning of the Moose Cave Loop.
There is a simple beauty about this trail. I think we're heading up to a viewing area. I think that might be this. Again, another gorge. Water's a little stagnant in this area. Here we are approaching Moose Cave itself. All right, another gorge. All right, so down here is Moose Cave. Is a rush of cool air. Feels really good right now. I don't think any moose are around this area in this cave, of course. There are many, many moose in the area. Um, very nice trail. Um, it's a loop. Not sure the distance. It's got to be half a mile or less. And there's uh, some interesting sights on the way. Looks like another view of this cave. We'll just stick this out there. And in this direction. Lots of cuts and gorges in this area. So this is a little cutoff on the Moose Cave Trail. This goes along the Bear River, which again is down in that gorge. So all of this water is the same Bear River next to our campground. And we're doing this loop counterclockwise and we're on our way back up now. So this is concluding our visit through these points of interest at Grafton Notch State Park. We're gonna head up to the picnic area, which is a little bit further north, and have our dinner. And perhaps return tomorrow to hike up to Table Rock. <laughs>